Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me when you said and as you saw from the title I decided to interview international students who are actually studying in South Korea and so I started from KAIST this video starts with our freshman and her name is Gina and she is a graduate of KSA one thing that I want to mention is that since she is a freshman, first year student, she cannot choose her major and I think it's a common thing in lots of universities but she's planning to take bioengineering from second year and more information you will learn in this video from the interview so if you're interested in this video please don't forget to put thumbs up so that it can show me your support and don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your bell notification so you won't miss my videos such as this let's jump into this video <laughs> yeah. my name is Nina. Uh, i'm from indonesia i'm now a freshman in KAIST uh you you don't have field of study yet right yeah ah. so because i'm a freshman i don't i haven't declared my major yet and yeah so i'm gonna answer with like academic life and social life i guess because there are those are like two separate things in my opinion yeah. but yeah academic life i think it is hard because uh you are taking all these requirement courses mm -hmm. first Mm -hmm. uh, and so it might like personally it doesn't fit what uh, it doesn't fit my interest i guess because i have yeah. to take all this like physics and chemistry and math uh, you know calculus and everything and so i don't quite enjoy the uh, enjoy the subject itself but uh overall i think it's quite the same as ksa yeah every every everything is kind of like the same but social life I guess it is mm, better. <laughs> than, uh, because, I mean, like in KSA, uh, yeah. the community is quite small. There is like the language barrier and everything. And it's also more, I don't know, you're more, uh, I don't want to say this word, but kind of like cage, especially like in the last year of high school since mm -hmm. it was like COVID and we weren't allowed to go anywhere. And so oh. you can see that like the first week, since like, my batch, uh, almost everyone got into KAIST and now everyone's in KAIST. And so you could see like the first week that we got to KAIST, we were all like going out every night, very stressful. But uh, since we were helped, uh, the counselor, like Jo Young Day, shout out, because it was easier because nice. there was someone there to guide us, you know. Hmm. Okay, I guess first, different exciting oh and third also well yeah stressful <laughs> i was waiting for that one <laughs> that has to be included yeah i think at this point as much as of course i want like academic help uh -huh. <laughs> i need academic help it would really be nice to have like a mm, men mm. do i say mental I don't know. Yeah. Uh, mental mental health. Yeah. Someone that can guide me, just like not even like mentally as as it's not that deep, but it's more mm -hmm. like someone that can guide me. Yes. Yeah. That I knows understand. you know, that has experienced uh Kais or like university yeah. life in general. Or mm -hmm. Kais I don't know, like uh I think some of us are also um uh, ha we uh, some of us also had that uh thought of oh kais is ksa 2.0 like <laughs> kais is just miss ksa but i think like academically it is mostly similar mm -hmm. but uh socially it's very different i think you have more control over your social mm -hmm. life here than in ksa so that's what makes it different Nice. And seeing that I'm not really focusing on the academic life, <laughs> it is really <laughs> yeah. At least, I mean, you have your freedom because KSA did not allow you to have one. What have I been feeling? I think this year specifically, it's I've been to like so many realizations about mm. like life in general or also like about myself like I, I've been exploring about uh, what kind of person I am what I enjoy the most you know like I've been self-exploring if you will 
<laughs> I nice. love myself doing little experiments here and there. I love like, uh-huh. what I enjoy, but I don't like, I like to really build. Uh, <laughs> I lost the word. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, to, to, <laughs> to really know myself and what I like and what I enjoy and what I hate, what or whatever, all the stuff, finding myself. So a lot of realizations, a lot of stress. <laughs> But, you know, we're used to that, since yeah. we say. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of stress, a lot of, I don't know, I think those are the major stuff that I have been experiencing, just, like, the ups and downs. I guess I want to try what uh, offline semester is like, like, offline study. Oh, you're online? Yeah, we're still online right now. Oh. But, I mean, some classes, like, especially labs, it's, like, half online half offline but yeah we are still online all of the classes i'm taking are online worst moment rather not say they were just like i think it was just like a mentally i was Uh mentally not in a good place but not just because of like one factor it was like you know every factor uh many factors piling up Mm -hmm. and so it just got to that point where like I can't take this anymore. <laughs> but uh, best, there are many. I don't know. I just I just went with Anna to Seoul. That was a good time. <laughs> it was like a chill. It was a chill trip. We didn't really go to all like the tourist uh, destinations, but we just stayed like in a cafe and I don't know, really just chill. I think I've been doing that a lot these days. Yeah, I, I think these days I've been feeling like. My best mm-hmm. because I've been uh, I don't know I've been taking time to like be by be by myself and going to like places by myself and I think that's mm-hmm. really like I don't I feel like I haven't done that in a while actually I haven't done that at all I don't <laughs> know I feel like this is the first time I'm being by myself for a long time <laughs> and it's finding time for yourself is important yeah yeah. Oh God! <laughs> I think mm-hmm. so. I I didn't really have a lot of options, anyways. So mm-hmm. how do I even answer this question? It's more like yes, I wouldn't like change anything right now because like mm-hmm. I learn a lot from it and it is fun. Like don't get me wrong, but I guess there are like times where I uh, ask myself like, oh, what would be different if you would have gone to like a different university? You mm-hmm. know. Or at least, like, what would it be like if you go back to Indonesia or, you mm-hmm. know, those kind of stuff? Because, like, yeah. it is very different. I feel like here in Kais, uh, life is mostly, like, like it or not, even if you are not about that lifestyle, like, many people here are all about studying and studying and studying, you know, which is, mm-hmm. which is, I don't know, like, I respect that. The fact that you can do that, like, study, study, study. Mm-hmm. But, uh I personally cannot do that and I'm not about that lifestyle. And so, uh, yeah, it is really, it makes you think kind of like, oh, do I really belong here? Or Those have a question. And also, uh, I feel like in Indonesia, maybe there would, in terms of, I don't know, like organization or mm-hmm. maybe more like social life, there are more opportunities yeah. for me to get into like organizations, blah, blah, blah. But I think here, because of the language barrier, um, mm-hmm. major uh, like majorly because of the language barrier, you can't really have the opportunity to have many to join in many um, clubs or organizations. Mm-hmm. It's way better than KSA. I, mm-hmm. I'm just comparing it to my KSA life. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in general, the social life is really good. I've been actually. Um, it's just like not what you expected i went to this rent place one and i met this two girls they were from uh u.s one is from california and one is from uh florida and Mm -hmm. i didn't know these things really happen in real life like not to me anyways because i'm socially awkward like i (laughs) i know that about myself but i don't know it was just like spontaneous moment where they were like oh do you want to be friends and so like you can meet so many new people and make so many friends even like outside of guys Mm -hmm. meet their friends you know and so like i think there are yeah there are many like new opportunities i guess to meet 
new people, new kinds of people, mm-hmm. and that's I like that. <laughs> I I want to say like the so in campus, oh, there's like this is the la- this is the <laughs> library. And <laughs> this is the duck pond. Mm-hmm. Basically, there's just like this wing that uh, faces the library. And mm-hmm. I go there often just to like swing. Uh, I think uh, I have a video from that uh, place. It's like really? you it from inside the library, like this huge library. And then the mm-hmm. view is the duck pond. It's not inside the library. It's like outside. Ah, uh, Okay. I got it. I got it. The chairs, the stuff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's that's yeah. chilling. That's so good. It is. It is chilling. I just go there at night. And... Oh, nice. Wait, that sounds sad, but it's not. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure. I'm not, this sounds so depressed. I am not depressed. I guess there's like th- the stress clinic. Yeah. And the. Um, like inter uh, the counselor from IWS and also like the counselor in general I guess mm-hmm. I think there was a like, international three. I think one yeah yeah but I tried the general one it was good but personally I don't didn't fit me I guess so. oh, well I mean they don't know you well yet that's why probably maybe but I don't know I think it's not even about that it's more like The experience was just not for me. Ah, okay. First impression did not catch you. Okay. The least. Well. You can <laughs> say it. <laughs> I'm going to sound so dumb because I'm going to say, like, the academic system. But, like, everyone's <laughs> going to say, like, but you study there. Like, no, no, it's the amazing. The one thing you do there is to study. I think it's not the... When I say I, the academic system, it's more like not what they give us. It's more mm-hmm. like the study culture, I guess. Uh-huh. As I told you before, I respect them for like studying, studying, studying really hard. Mm-hmm. But it just doesn't fit me. Yeah. I, I think, think there's more to life than that. And the thing is, like, I suck at studying. I'm just going to say it. I suck at studying. So, like, even if I do it, like, I have to do it, I I have to put a lot of effort into it mm-hmm. and a lot of time. So, I have to waste all this, like, time, energy, everything and everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't think it's worth it to, you know, I mean, I guess I just study to understand, mm-hmm. to, like, I don't know, gain knowledge, if you will. But like Basically. it's just I think the competition is so hard and sometimes it's even like unhealthy. Yeah. And I guess that's the thing I'm upset about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think like the first one that came to my mind was like if you don't like science. Um, but then again, I don't like I'm here. <laughs> that contradicts everything, you know? That's why I was, like, hesitating to say that. But, yeah, no. I guess that's the only thing. Like, you'd be surprised uh, how many types of people are here, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I'm surprised by myself <laughs> that I'm still here. So, I don't really know how to answer that. Yeah, I think there's really no type or anything i feel like if you just enjoy science okay i think first of all is to before you go here you have to figure out your study plan Mm -hmm. i think even to like apply itself you should figure out your study plan like how how to make it effective kind of Mm -hmm. because some people they really like like it's effective for them to study at night because that's where that's when their brain works the most uh-huh. kind of yeah or really like the environment i feel like nowadays i've been enjoying studying in like cafes and you know that that works for me and so that's i think first of all you don't have to uh follow everyone and be like because like in here everyone doesn't sleep they have to like wake up at mm-hmm. night and like, study 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 but you know if you're a morning person then do you do you just like study in the morning just figure out what's effective for you in terms of studying uh mm-hmm. that's one um second of all okay in 
uh, applying itself. Mm-hmm. I think because there's like an essay section, right? Yeah. I guess uh, I, I don't, I can't really <laughs> tell you any advice about GPA because I'm not a pro with well, that. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I think, you know, but I guess the essays itself, I think I, sh- I would advise uh, people to make it, ad- make it in advance mm-hmm. and really yeah. just like if you have uh, an English teacher, just uh, edit it every like week and if you, because like the thing is like when in making essays you can't really like personally i can't cram all of my experience yeah. or sometimes i forget mm-hmm. or sometimes like you know uh the day after that you'll realize like oh you know what this story fits more to answer what they want or what, mm-hmm. or what they need kind of like the questions and so yeah that's why you should make the essays in advance so you can rewrite it or I don't know, edit it later. And that's, I don't know. I think that really helped. And third of all, don't be afraid to ask questions. Okay, this is really, really important mm-hmm. because I ask a lot of questions to the counselor, <laughs> to teachers, to seniors, to your friends even, like the friends who are doing it with you. If you have mm-hmm. any friends that are applying with you, it's really nice to at least remind each other like, oh, you need this, you need that, you need this, you need that. Or like, at least check up, oh, how are you doing? Uh, Ask a lot of questions because you'd be surprised. There are, I don't know, I get so many advice from Mm -hmm. seniors. That's really good. Oh, do this this way, do that this way. And I guess Mm -hmm. uh, that really helped me in getting into KAIST. So number four is take it easy. Prioritize uh, Prioritize yourself. I know this doesn't necessarily uh help you with like the SS or GPA whatever mm-hmm. but you know in applying itself it's really stressful and uh in my experience uh some people didn't really believe that I would get into the KAIST if you are in that position I'm just gonna say like I I've been there it's fine but like overall just be confident in yourself like what do you have to lose I regret spending so much time thinking if I was worth mm-hmm. being like a Kai student, if I was worth it or like if I can even like get in. But like thinking of it now, I'm like, you know, like even if you didn't get in, those times that you thought that you couldn't get in, you could have done something more than just like thinking like and worrying about it, True. you know? Although like it is normal to have like those type of anxieties. Like it's normal, you're validated, but mm-hmm. I think from like uh my perspective now it's like just calm down okay like okay first of all i think getting into kais itself really taught me that it's gonna be fine you know Mm -hmm. like i said before just prioritize yourself first don't stress it's it's gonna be okay Mm -hmm. like again i spent too much time thinking about it worrying about it and i guess after i got into kais i'm like oh huh <laughs> that was unexpected but you know like oh so it turned out to be okay that's one i feel like since i've been to guys i worry less about uh my academics mm-hmm. in terms of like uh i i think i changed my mindset into uh your worth does not depend on your academic accomplishments i uh-huh. guess because yeah. and that's also like i think that's more to KSA also being in KSA I just learned a lot and like in terms of my uh, ability in learning Mm -hmm. (laughs) and how I don't put too much stress into it I guess Mm -hmm. because I feel like in Indonesia it was easier to be quote unquote smart mm-hmm. like yeah. to have good grades but then like you know suddenly in KSA uh, and in KAIS it's like poof, no, <laughs> you thought <laughs> like no <Ciao>. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me just uh let me just introduce you to these geniuses <laughs> but yeah I think that's one really just to uh separate my worth and uh, with my academic accomplishments mm-hmm. like they might relate to each other, but it doesn't 
depend on it, you know? Yeah. Second of all is, again, to just uh, more to these days. Like, I told you, like, these days I've been spending more yeah. time alone and going out alone, trying different things alone because uh, I finally get the chance to. Since in KSA, first of all, like, I was still very young. Uh, I was... Uh, yeah. It's sad to say this, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm a girl. So it was hard for me to, like, go outside alone and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, but now that I have the chance to do it and I feel more comfortable, uh, I learned a lot about myself, actually. That's what mm-hmm. I learned. <laughs> I learned about uh, that it's fine to take time for myself, yeah. to let myself grow, even if, it's not, you know, you can, you can, uh, it can bring you stress, even if you don't realize it, mm-hmm. that everyone, because I feel like in Kais, not just in Kais, but I'm saying like, personally, uh, in Kais, there are so many people that are not just good in academics, you know, they can uh, play music, they can play instruments, they have uh, skills in, <laughs> like, sports anything like you name it they're all there Mm -hmm. and so you're like I think sometimes you can uh go to that rabbit hole of comparing yourself to others Mm -hmm. as toxic as it gets and so you feel like oh uh what am I doing here like I don't belong here or like oh if they can do that why am I still at this point you know like when they're already like there but I guess it's really just like to remind yourself that you are a human being and you're just still growing. It's yeah. not that you're not going to be there. You're just not there yet, in a sense. Yeah. So, like, just take time for yourself. If they are doing that, then good for them, you know? Like, <laughs> And it's also good for you because, like, oh, you get to know all these people and most of all, like, you can learn from them, you know? Take, take advantage of that, I guess. Yeah. Like, oh, you know these people, so, like, it's cool that you, you have this, like, set them as like a motivation mm-hmm. not like a comparison yeah and also you can learn from them because you'd be surprised of you know on how nice people are <laughs> i always tell people this that i learned in korea uh, like i got more lessons about life in korea uh-huh. than lessons in academics yeah <laughs> you get what i mean I, I, like yeah i learned more about how to navigate uh through life and how to gain more perspective kind of in mm-hmm. their uh because i meet people with different beliefs different cultural backgrounds different different everything really and you get to learn a lot and seeing like looking back i was really uh i don't know i i i, I only look at these facts or like these cultures from a screen Mm-hmm. But now I really get to experience it, you know, and I really get to see it. And that's amazing. I think so. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, it's more like I've been saying this. It's yeah. more. It's not that. Uh, oh, I'm quote unquote smarter now because mm-hmm. a KSA really taught me uh, about physics or <laughs> math. <laughs> but it's more like uh, I learned that. I don't have to be as stressed as I was in KSA. Mm-hmm. I think like I learned that in KSA that like okay you you can just take take your time. Mm-hmm. Right now I don't have I'm not in any club. Mm-hmm. But I think oh I wanted to join the filmmaking club but I'm still like uh questioning whether my Korean is <laughs> good oh, enough to uh-huh. go into that club because I know like I think in that club major leads Korean, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's what I wanted to join. Of course, shout out to my friends. They've been <laughs> really supportive. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, there are times when they treat me as their like little sister or like yeah. a baby. Mm-hmm. Because I'm like the youngest here. And so that's comforting. They know that uh, it's just really comforting when they say like, you're you're still young just like take your time i think um my family i don't know like these days i talk to Gian a lot also and that's mm-hmm. been really thing 
of course, shout out to my bestie in Indonesia, Numa. <laughs> she is uh, my uh, ultimate uh, support system. Uh-huh. And I think really also my parents, because like I think they saw me at my lowest in KSA, and that because they used to be so strict, especially when it comes to academics, mm-hmm. which I understand. Like I kind of admire that that they think uh, academic is very important. Uh, you know, despite I'm a girl or something, they trust me enough to, you know what I'm saying, right? Because like, yeah. some people, some people would ask me like, oh, how did your parents agree to you studying abroad? You know, you're a girl, you should be like, near oh. them at home. And I'm here, my parents would be like, oh, you know, I, I, I respect them for like that mindset. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. also, but like for, because of that, they used to be really strict on my grades and everything in Indonesia mm-hmm. but I think since KSA like they realized that uh, it can really bring a lot of stress so I think now they're more to the chill side they would be like Good. okay just like do your best and it's fine like you have like a backup plan you can always come back you know yeah. I think they're more chill about it and I really like that yeah oh it's not a song it's a whole album <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you know her. It's Gracie Abrams. No. I've been like her since, oh, since what? Third semester? Since like she released like her first songs. Uh-huh. But yeah, uh, it's called uh, This Is What It Feels Like. This is what I'm it feels like. Now. <laughs> I'm okay. promoting her album. But yeah, I, I, I really like the songs in there. Okay. And it feels cool. like she's selling a story and I'm like... Thank you, and see you maybe next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Love you. (laughs) I have a guest. Do you want to see my guest? Is it a cat? Yes. (laughs) I knew it. (laughs) Oh, my God. This is Loki. Hi, Loki. Oh, it looks evil. (laughs) He he is evil. (laughs) Wait. Is is it a she or a he? He, Loki, or Loki. He? You know, oh, okay. Thor and then Loki. Did you buy it or like rescue it or? I uh, rescue, yeah. From kids. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you think this video was helpful and informative, please don't forget to put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you didn't do it yet. And turn on your bell notifications because I will have lots of other interviews with Kai students and other universities. But the contacts of Gina will be in the description box if you want to like contact her. Everything will be in the description box. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video next week.